If you're a fan of the letterpress effect then this tutorial is for you. You would be applying inner shadows and using the bevel embossed layer styles to your paper texture in addition to a few other things to get the similar effect to this. The first thing that you need to do is open up Photoshop and create a new document. So file, new, make sure your preset set to custom, you've got pixels down on your right hand side and your width is 800, height 600 and resolution 300. Once you've done that press ok and the document will open up like this. You now need to click your text tool, make sure your font size is set to about 30 and the font that I've chosen is called Marmaletta Jam which I downloaded from tofont.com for free and then you need to choose your colour, I've gone for a dark grey but you can choose what other colour you like, press ok and then click on your document and then you can create the first letter or word of whatever you're going to write, mine's going to be I as I'm making I the heart teaching art and then once you've done that just move it into position where you think roughly you want it to be and we're now going to apply an inner shadow layer style to your letter so make sure it's selected in your layer stack layer and then layer style inner shadow and then make sure your blend mode is set to overlay opacity about 60 percent angle 117 and your distance we're going to put on three pixels and your size we're going to put on three pixels as well and then press ok we're now going to duplicate that, so control right click, duplicate layer, press OK, and then using the move tool just bring the duplicated layer down. Go back to your text tool and then highlighting and selecting it. I'm going to bring my font size down to about 15 as I'm going to write teaching art and it won't fit in otherwise. Keeping on the same font and the same colour, just write teaching art. After you've wrote whatever you're doing, you can move it again and just place it into position. Now in my white space here, I'm going to place a custom shape of a heart. You can either do a custom shape as well, or you can use letters and words. It's entirely up to you. So if you do want to create a custom shape, just click down here, custom shape tool, and then your shapes are up here, which you can choose from. I'm going to choose the heart, and I'm just going to go back into the colours. I'm going to change mine to a nice red. Once you've chosen your colour, press OK, and then holding shift, click and drag at the same time, keep it into proportion, draw your shape. That's about big enough. You now need to apply an inner shadow layer style to your shape. So exactly the same thing, make sure it's selected in the layer stack, layer, layer style, inner shadow. This time blend mode multiply, opacity 40%, angle 117 degrees, distance 3 pixels and size 3 pixels and then press OK. And then using the move tool just make sure everything is in position and that you're happy where it all is. So I'm going to bring my eye down to about here, I think. Yep, and then that's it. You now need to select all of your layers except for the background layer. So start at the top, click, hold down shift, and just scroll to each layer and select it. Once you've done that, go back to the top, control right click, duplicate layers, press OK. We're now going to merge all of those. So we're going to go layer, merge layers. We're going to shape one copy, double click at the top and we're just going to call it copy just so that we know. Your next step is we're going to add a paper background. You can use whatever you like. I got mine from a site called fuzzmo.com which has a load of great free resources. Here's my one. Again if you want to scan something in that's absolutely fine. Open it up and then once it's in Photoshop we're going to go select and then all. Then we're going to go edit, copy, minimise your texture go back into this and go down to your background layer and then edit and paste. You can now see that your texture has gone into your background and then just play around with it until you're happy with the position. That will do for me. And then you're now going to select your merge layer which we named copy earlier. So go up to the top, choose your magic wand tool and we're going to click on your background to select all of the negative space. If you've got holes within your letters like mine you can see that you need to fill those in too. So to do that, with your magic wand still, hold down shift and just click on the negative space and just go along until all of them are selected. I'm just going to press deselect quickly as mine's just gone wrong. Start again. Careful as you do this that you don't, as I keep doing, touch the font so I'm just going to zoom in quickly so I can do this. And that's it and then once they're all selected and you're happy go to select and then inverse. 
and you can see everything's been selected apart from the background. We're now going to go down to your paper layer, which you created earlier. It will automatically come up as layer 1, and we're just going to delete it. And we're going to hide all the other layers. And you can see we get these nice white backgrounds here. The next thing we're going to do is apply a bevel and emboss layer style to these white layers. And then to do that, with it selected, your paper layer, which it should be here, go to layer, and then layer style again and then just down to bevel and emboss this time. You need to make sure that your depth is set to 55, your size is set to 3, soften 0 pixels, angle 117 degrees, and you need to make your altitude to 48. Once you've done that, press OK, bring back all the other layers except for the copy at the top, all them brought back up, select, deselect and you can see we've already got this lovely letterpress print coming through. The last step that we're going to do is add a vintage feel to it. So you need to choose a brush. So to do that go into your brushes. You've got your nice preset ones here at the top which already come through. But if you don't like any of them you can just download some watercolour brushes. So mine I've already chosen one and then which is kind of like a coffee splat effect and then I'm going to put it to the largest brush size possible. I'm going to change my colour though so it's similar to my background. So I'm just going to change that and once you've found a colour that you like, you're ready to start de-stressing your image. As you can see mine's a nice cream one. And then you need to make sure that your paper layer though is brought up to the top. So you're just going to bring it up just below your copy otherwise it won't come through. And then you can start de-stressing can see I don't want an awful lot. Literally that will do for me but if you want you can play around with the opacity, change the lightness of your background and just have a fiddle around but I'm going to bring mine back to 100%. We're now going to select your de-stress layer which is at the top here and create a clipping mask. So then we go to layer and then we're going to create clipping mask. Oh, hang on, not of that one, hang on, sorry, edit, step backward, you need to select your copy rather, sorry, and then create a clipping mask of that, so layer, create clipping mask, and then there you have it, you've got a nice imprinted effect going on, hope you enjoyed my tutorial.